Hello again guys. I'm here again at the Lords Range and again with absolutely beautiful views all round. Um, the weather is fantastic and this is an off the cuff hike today. I wasn't planning this one. We're actually planning to leave to go back home tomorrow. And I thought, well, the weather's so good, why not just throw in another little hike? Now these two mountains that I'm going to be doing today, I've actually done them before, so I'm not actually going to be bagging any today. I'm simply going to be redoing them. And the reason I'm going to be redoing them is because the last time I done these two with Lisa, the weather was absolutely horrendous. We had like 40 mile an hour winds at the top of glass and lores, and it was absolutely chucking it down it was just a nightmare but we bagged them off just the same anyway so today i'm just going to redo them since the weather's so good and let you guys have a look at what they're like also i'm not going to be doing them kind of the traditional way most people kind of go up glass over the back down and then up lors a wasp there at me um, I'm not going to do that I'm going to go around, around the side of glass around the mountain and then I'm going to hit up to the Bielach go up to Lors first and then come back down and then up glass and I'm going to come back down the face of glass so that's the plan for today um, hope you guys enjoy it Currently right now sitting in the the car park. It's the National Trust car park at the bottom of Lors. This is where everybody parks for going up the Lors range. And it usually gets really busy. In actual fact, we're close to 12 o'clock just now. It's a really late start for me. Like I say, because it's off the cuff, I wasn't even going to bother. I was actually supposed to be taking my camera and going for a walk with Lisa try and get some wildlife shots but ah, I couldn't pass up this it's too good and that's the route we're taking up here uh, So this route here takes us through this little wildlife area here first. It's a little reserve part. And that in itself is a nice little walk. There's a nice, nice little round circular route in there for walkers. People take their dogs in there and now I'm going to be a little bit of a faster pace today get my heart going a bit well uh, yes yesterday we were on Meow Kiordi and that was a very slow pace but again it was a lovely day so it didn't matter I'll stop yabbering on. That's a uh, Tarmacan Ridge up here. Yeah, I'll stop yabbering on and I'll catch these when I get slightly further up. Hey guys, I'm way up past the tree line now, which is way down there. I've uh, came up this path and I'm at the point where the path splits into two that's a usual route up here up to glass and this way is the bypass route 
which I'm going to be taking. This takes you around to the Bilac. So, yeah, just talking to a fellow now. He says, Lars is just manageable with your micro spikes. Um, he says, but the other side, if you wanted to go down the other side to do Anstuk, it's virtually impossible. It's a sheet of ice all the way. So, for most people, that would be a no no. And there's quite a few people up on glass at the moment. And I'm actually making pretty good progress. Um, I've also just passed those kids down there. Well, I say kids are teenagers. Not one of them have got walking boots. They're all in what looks like Converse and Adidas trainers and things like that. So. I gave them a little warning that if they should be venturing up there, they better be really careful. And that they shouldn't really even be going up in trainers. At any time of the year, they should be wearing the proper boots for walking. Easy to go over and twist an ankle with wearing trainers. You can do that wearing boots as well, but it's less likely to make a lot of damage. And obviously the, the grips and boots are far better than trainers. But anyway, I suppose youngins will take a chance. So I'll catch you a little bit further up.
bike, so this would have been a wee bit treacherous for them. It's not too bad. Certainly wouldn't like to try it in just trainers. <laughs> So basically the top is up there somewhere So I've got these actually strapped in my chest at the moment because I want to keep my hands free At this point I'm going to take my crampons back off until I get further up again. This is me just coming up to the Bielach now. Up there is the top of Lors. If I spin you around, up here is the top of Ben Glass. And this beer lack that I'm coming to sits between both and you, then you can choose which way you want to go now of course like I said earlier I'm going to be going up to the top of Lors first and then up to Glass now there's a couple of people up there just now right up there two people in the summit and of course I've come from this corner round here and I've traversed round the side down here, along here up here that's a nice walk for beginners it's a slow incline all the way right through the car park you've got no, no steep parts whatsoever it's a nice and gentle walk all the way to the Bielak and only then is when you've got a climb a little bit of a climb it's reasonably steep but not too bad so for me it's onwards and upwards um, I've not even looked at what time it is I actually left I thought it was closer to 12 and then I looked at my my phone and it's actually it was no long after 11 it was half past when I checked so it must have been round about 20 past round about 20 past 11 when I left maybe maybe closer to half past because uh, I was only five minutes into the walk and uh, now it's five to one so it's around an hour and a half to get to this point I've stopped a few times to chat to a few people um, those teenagers that I spoke to I don't think there's any chance of them coming around the side of that and, and the trainers and the the trainers and whatever they're called Converse she was wearing there's no way she's getting around there with that 
and if the trailer's going in the last all the way down there <laughs> yeah but, hitting the icy patches now oh, there's more going up, more people going up a group of four with a dog Rainac, ah, uh, sorry, Milkoy Corniac and Coy Leith. And of course, Tarmigan up there, Tarmigan Ridge. Right. Up, guys, top of Lars. What a day! It's now half past one, so two hours. Chats. And I'm going to turn these off now. And I'm going to get my obligatory selfies and whatnot. Now look at that, guys. Oh, what a day! Mountain there is Anne Stuck, Greg and Garb over here. And over there's Ben Bui, I'm oh no, sorry, uh, Neil Gardy. I Neil Gardy, the one I done yesterday. And of course, Tarragon Ridge. That's where I'm heading next. So I'll put these off now. Right guys, that's me ready to leave the top now. Been here for about 25 minutes. Having something to eat and we drink. So it's good. Um, it's coming up to two o'clock now. So I better get heading back down and Get up glass first. So, see you when we get in. That's me back down to the Bilac. I think it's only like something like 10 minutes. I think it took me to get down there. Maybe not even that. It's pretty quick. And now I'm going to do this in up here. Ben Glass. Uh, ben Lars that I've just came down from. I think it sits at around 1214 if I'm not mistaken. I'll put it up the top if I'm wrong. 
I'll put it up on top anyway, let you all know. But yeah, I think that's around 12, 14. I think Ben Glass is about 1103. I'll check that out later for you. It's a bit warmer down here. Right, onward and upwards. That's me about to head up to the summit of Ben Glass. That's the summit up there for Ben Lord. About there, so I've came down this side along up here, and I'm just coming to the summit up at the top here. Well done, guys! Well done. Just as well you didn't go the other route. Yeah. It's all it's all sheltered in here. If you look, if you look just over the edge here, yeah. that was it. Do you see where the people are down there? Yeah. That's the route all the way around there, and it's really icy. You wouldn't have made it around there with the crampons, or, so yeah, you were better going that way. Even though everybody told me it's better going this way, <laughs> it just shows there. Eh? So this is. Ben Glass at 11, 1103 meters. Oh, say hello to YouTube. Hello. <laughs> oh, you picked a good day for it. Not much I can though. That's me leaving the top of Ben Glass now, heading down to the bottom, and it's half past two in the afternoon. So basically, from half eleven this morning, it's three hours, and I'm, I'm heading down now. So that's been pretty good going. It's uh, absolutely fantastic up here. And uh, those youngins with their trainers and that on, they've actually made it up to the top because they were actually able to avoid most of the snow and what have you on the way up here. And they could potentially go up Lors as well, but they said they weren't, but they could do it because it's uh, most of the snow is actually avoidable and then uh, icy patches. Uh, it's not as bad as what some of the people that were that I was meeting earlier. It's not as bad as they said it was. And the only bit is round the north facing walk that I took that you need any crampons or anything. Um, all the rest of it's actually melted away. So yeah, it wasn't too bad. And good on them for giving it a try. Um, some of the girls are saying it's the first, so they got a cracking day for their first one row. So I'll, I'll season a bit further down. Pretty far down the mountain now. Um, normally I don't show coming down off the mountain if I've gone up that same way. So in this instance, as you know, I went, I traversed around the side here and I'm coming down from 
way up here, down these three humps, and then down this path here. Uh, because I never because I never went up that way, I thought I would just show you it to show you whereabouts the path is and what it entails. And this is me just starting to come to the views at where the Lord's car park and the, the trail that I came along when I went up. So the trail goes from round the other side of that here down here, along here, all the way and then down to where the trees are down at the bottom here. That's where the car park is. So that's where I'm going to be heading for. And the wind seems to be dying down now because I'm in a sheltered area. Yeah, what a fantastic day I've had. And of course, I've done these, these are repeats. So I don't get to bag them off, they're already bagged. But it doesn't matter, it's all about the hike. And uh, the last time I've done it, I never got to show it on, on any sort of film because it was the weather was horrendous the last time. Hey guys, so yeah, like I say, I'm coming to the end of the hike here. I can see my the roof of my van just over there, and if you've liked my video today, to really appreciate it if you give it a little thumbs up. It's uh, it's been a cracking day. The the Lars range this week has not disappointed. It's been really really good. Um, the weather's been absolutely fantastic. So yeah, if you've liked the video of the day and you've stayed to the end, it'd be nice if you could give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel. And if you like my content that I've been doing, and I'm going to be doing a lot more. Um, at the moment, I think I've got like four videos that I've got to now upload from the last week. Because I've been on the road, I've not been able to sort them while I've been on the road. So they'll be getting uploaded to YouTube pretty soon. So you can be assured that they'll be coming soon. Um, yeah, so if they like, if you like it, give us a little subscribe. It would uh, really help the channel as well. 
it's nice to be nice eh it doesn't cost you a penny I've said that before i don't know why people seem to think it costs them money to subscribe to a youtube channel which it doesn't it's entirely free so even if you never ever watch any other of my videos it still helps me out yeah so like subscribe and share hit the wee bell notification it'll tell you when i'm uploading or when i've uploaded to youtube Hi there. Lovely day for it, eh? And uh, yeah, I'm back here at the National Trust car park. My van's just over there, which I'm coming up to now. And I don't even know what time it is. Find out the time then out. So it's 20 past 3 so from half 2 leaving the top to 20 past 3 that's no bad um, yeah so that's from about half 11 this morning to half 3 it's 4 hours probably 3 hours actual travelling time spent a lot of time on the top chatting to people of both summits yeah so thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one mind and enjoy yourself when you're down the mountains be safe and I'll catch you again <laughs>